In this video, we will demonstrate how to replace the divert subassembly on a mod sort transfer and divert station. These instructions are also found in the installation and maintenance guide of the mod sort engineering manual. Tools required for this job include a flathead screwdriver, 7 16th inch wrench or socket, and a 5 32nd Allen wrench. Before conducting any maintenance on the mod sort module, Remember to use all your PPE and follow all lockout tagout procedures. Step 1. Begin by removing top plates on each side of the unit. If side guides or spacers are present, remove as well. Step 2. Unlatch and remove the orange clips from both sides of the belt. If needed, raise the roller top belt up to gain access to the clips. Be careful if using a screwdriver to lift up the roller top belt. The divert belt may be damaged if the screwdriver slips. Step 3. The following procedure is performed by two people. Choose the easiest direction from which to push the belt retaining pin. Using a small screwdriver or an Allen wrench, push the pin out so it can be pulled out from the other side. Step 4. Reinsert the pin into the free link side of the roller top belt where the clamshell and spheres need to be retained. If the pin is not reinserted, the spheres and clamshells can fall out as the roller top belt is removed from the transfer. Step 5. Place each end of the roller top belt on the conveyors in line so the divert subassembly can be worked on. Step 6. Trace the motor cable from the divert drive roller to the control card and disconnect the motor cable connector. Step 7. Remove the bolts, washers, and spacers on each of the four corners of the divert belt mounting locations. Step 8. Lift the transfer assembly up and out of the mod sort module and place it on a raised flat work surface with the wear bed up. Step 9. Place new divert assembly into the mod sort module. Notice, handle the MDR wires carefully to prevent damage. Step 10. Insert the bolts, washers, and spacers, if present, on each of the four corners of the divert belt mounting holes and tighten. Step 11. Place new motor cable connector to the motor control card. Route motor cable as to not pinch or damage the cable. Step 12. Bring both sides of the belt together. Step 13. Unlatch the orange clips on the side of the belt that contains the pin. Step 14. Pull the pin out of the belt. Step 15. The following procedure is performed by two people. Push the belt links together and apply compression where the pin will start to be inserted into the belt. Push the pin into the belt, making sure pin is fully inserted and flush with module. Step 16. Latch the orange clips. Step 17. Reinstall side plates with spacers if present with Allen key and any side guides if present. For more information, please visit www.modsort.com.